If death is the ultimate mystery that has haunted humanity since time immemorial, what truly lies beyond the veil? Is it an eternal slumber? A transition to another plane of existence? Or perhaps something even more profound? In this video, we delve into the depths of what death means to us all. Its implications, its fears, and ultimately, its place in the human experience. Prepare to confront the inevitable, to explore the unknown, and perhaps to find a sense of peace amidst the finality. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Section 1. The Concept of Mortality and Finitude. We arrive on this stage, called life with a vibrant spark, brimming with potential and a seemingly endless horizon of possibilities. Yet, woven into the very fabric of our existence is a truth as undeniable as the rising sun. Mortality, it's the universal counterpoint to life's symphony. The reminder that our time on this earth is a borrowed melody destined to fade at some point. Definition, beyond a finish line. But mortality isn't a cruel joke or a finish line to be dreaded. It's an inherent characteristic of life itself. Like the changing seasons, life flourishes, reaches its peak, and eventually surrenders to the natural cycle of renewal and decay. A fallen leaf doesn't diminish the beauty of the tree, but rather becomes a vital part of the cycle that sustains life. Similarly, our mortality doesn't diminish the beauty of our experiences, but rather imbues them with a preciousness that compels us to savor each moment. Philosophical perspectives, finding meaning in the finite. This concept of finitude has been grappled with by philosophers for millennia. The Stoics, for example, believed in accepting our mortality as a way to live a more meaningful life. They argued that focusing on what we can control in the present like our thoughts and actions, is the key to finding peace and fulfillment. On the other hand, existentialists saw death as a source of anxiety and a stark reminder of our freedom and responsibility in shaping our own existence. They believed that the very knowledge of our finite time throws the burden of meaning, making squarely on our shoulders. Finitude of life, a catalyst for action, Knowing our time is limited can be a burden, a constant awareness of the ticking clock. The relentless passage of time can trigger anxieties about unfulfilled dreams and untapped potential, but it can also be a powerful motivator. This awareness compels us to prioritize experiences, pursue passions that ignite our souls, and forge meaningful connections that enrich our lives. The finitude of life becomes a call to action, urging us to make the most of the precious time we have, living with mortality, embracing the journey. The dance with mortality isn't about achieving immortality or fearing the inevitable. It's about embracing the journey, experiencing life to its fullest, and leaving a positive ripple effect on the world around us. It's about understanding that our legacy doesn't lie solely in the number of years we live, but in the impact we make and the love we share in the time we are given. Section 2. Existential Dread. The weight of knowing our existence is finite can settle upon us like a shroud, a suffocating awareness we might describe as existential dread. It's the cold realization that our vibrant tapestry of life will one day unravel, leaving behind only silence. Psychological impact, a spectrum of emotion. This existential angst can manifest in a multitude of ways, a symphony of disharmonious emotions. We might grapple with a profound fear of the unknown, a chilling uncertainty about what lies beyond the veil of death? This fear can be compounded by a sense of insignificance, a feeling of being a mere speck in the vast expanse of the universe. 
the very foundation of our existence, can feel like shifting sand, leading to anxiety, isolation, and a deep sense of unease. Existential crisis versus existential dread. It's important to distinguish between existential dread and a full-blown existential crisis. Dread is a more persistent, low-level hum of anxiety, a constant awareness of mortality's shadow. An existential crisis, however, is a more acute episode, a moment of intense questioning and despair triggered by a life, altering event or a period of deep reflection philosophical roots facing the absurd. The concept of existential dread has been explored by numerous philosophers. Soren Kierkegaard, the father of existentialism, argued that life is inherently absurd because it has no predetermined meaning. We are free to create our own meaning, but this freedom also comes with the burden of responsibility. French philosopher Albert Camus expanded on this idea, suggesting that we must accept the inherent absurdity of life and forge our own meaning in spite of it, finding solace beyond the abyss. However, humans are remarkably resilient creatures. While existential dread may be an unavoidable aspect of the human condition, we have developed various coping mechanisms to navigate its grip some find solace in religion or spirituality, drawing comfort from the belief in an afterlife or a higher purpose. Others immerse themselves in work, hobbies, or creative pursuits, finding meaning and fulfillment in accomplishment and self-expression, building strong relationships, connecting with loved ones, and contributing to a cause greater than ourselves can also provide a sense of purpose and alleviate the fear of oblivion. Existential dread may confront us with the abyss, but it needn't consume us entirely. By exploring these coping mechanisms and embracing the inherent meaning-making capacity within each of us, we can find ways to manage its grip and live a more fulfilling life, even in the face of our inevitable end. Section 3. Near death experiences, a glimpse beyond, and the face of death's icy grip. Some individuals report extraordinary experiences that defy conventional explanations. These near-death experiences, NDEs often share common themes, blurring the lines between life and death, and sparking a firestorm of debate about their significance. Definition and common theme. People who have had NDAs often describe a profound detachment from their physical bodies. They might feel a sense of calm and peace as if floating above their surroundings. A brilliant light is a frequently reported element, sometimes accompanied by a feeling of being drawn towards it. Traveling through a tunnel or dark void is another common theme, often leading to a panoramic review of one's life experiences. Some individuals recount encountering deceased loved ones or benevolent beings, radiating love and acceptance. Personal stories, a profound shift in perspective. Imagine staring down the abyss of death and then being pulled back. Many who have experienced ND8 report a life, altering transformation. They speak of a newfound appreciation for life, a heightened sense of purpose, and a diminished fear of death itself. One NDE experiencer might describe a profound connection with a universal consciousness, while another recounts a detailed conversation with a deceased relative. These experiences, while subjective, leave an undeniable mark on those who have them. Scientific perspectives versus spiritual interpretation. These remarkable accounts have been a subject of intense scientific scrutiny for decades. Neuroscientists offer various explanations, suggesting that NDEs could be a product of the brain's activity during a near-death event. They point to the role of the limbic system, the part of the brain associated with emotions and memory in producing feelings of euphoria and intense imagery. 
Psychologists explore the role of cultural beliefs and expectations in shaping these experiences. They suggest that people who have had NNDs may be subconsciously drawing on religious or cultural imagery to interpret their near death state. On the other hand, some interpret NDAs as evidence of a near death consciousness or even a glimpse into the afterlife. These interpretations are often fueled by the detailed and sometimes veridical aspects of NDEs. Veridical NDS occur when experiencers report sights or sounds that they could not have known about through normal means, such as details of a surgery happening in another room. While these veridical aspects are intriguing, they can also be explained by exceptional memory or hallucinations. The mystery endures. Whether NDAs are a purely physiological phenomenon or hold deeper, spiritual significance remains a mystery. But one thing remains constant. They offer a fascinating glimpse into the human mind's capacity to experience the unknown and the enduring human desire to find meaning beyond the physical world. Section 4. Death Rituals and Practices Honoring the Passage Across the vast tapestry of human cultures, a common thread binds us, the profound experience of death. And to navigate this experience, societies have developed diverse rituals and practices, each reflecting unique beliefs and values. These rituals are not merely about disposing of the body, they serve a deeper purpose, offering solace to the bereaved, honoring the deceased, and creating a sense of closure. Cultural tapestry of death rituals, from the somber processions and eulogies of Western funerals to the vibrant parades and celebratory feasts of some African cultures, death rituals showcase the richness of human expression the Maasai people of Kenya celebrate the life of a deceased warrior with a lively empressment ceremony involving dancing, singing, and recounting the warrior's achievements. In Japan, elaborate funerals are held with mourners dressed in white and offering incense to honor the deceased. Mourning practices, a spectrum of expression. Mourning practices also vary greatly across cultures. In some societies, such as parts of Southeast Asia, public displays of grief are encouraged with extended periods of wailing and lamentations. In contrast, other cultures, like some in North America, value a more private expression of grief, with mourners finding solace in quiet contemplation and shared memories. The power of ritual, finding solace and closure these rituals provide a vital space for the bereaved to process their emotions, express their grief, and connect with others who share their loss. The shared experience of participating in a ritual can offer a sense of comfort and belonging during a difficult time. Honoring the departed, a bridge between worlds. Death rituals often serve to honor the deceased and celebrate their life. Eulogies recount their accomplishments and positive qualities, while traditional songs or stories might be shared to keep their memory alive. In some cultures, elaborate tombs or monuments are erected, serving as a lasting physical tribute to the departed, appeasement, and ancestral connection. Many rituals are also rooted in spiritual beliefs, offerings of food, Drink or other objects might be made to appease the spirits of the deceased or ensure a safe passage to the afterlife. Ancestral veneration is practiced in many cultures, with rituals aimed at maintaining a connection with deceased ancestors who are believed to watch over and guide the living. The diverse tapestry of death, rituals, and practices may seem like a disparate collection of traditions. However, a unifying thread runs through them all. The human need to acknowledge death, honor the departed, and find solace in the face of loss. These rituals offer a bridge. 
between the worlds of the living and the dead, helping us navigate the profound mystery of death and find meaning in the face of our mortality. Section 5. The Shadow Within, Confronting the Fear of Death. Beneath the cultural rituals and philosophical ponderings lies a primal fear, a shadow that lurks within us all. The fear of death, it's a complex emotion with many layers, and it can manifest in various ways. Common fears related to death. The fear of death can be a fear of the unknown. What happens after we take our last breath? Some fear the pain and suffering that might accompany the dying process. Perhaps the most fundamental fear is the fear of non-existence, the terrifying prospect of ceasing to be altogether, impact on daily life. This fear can have a profound impact on how we live. It can lead to anxiety and avoidance of conversations or situations that remind us of our mortality. We might become overly cautious, avoiding activities perceived as risky in an attempt to cling to life for as long as possible. The memento, mori approach. On the other hand, some individuals react to the fear of death by embracing a leave fast, die young mentality. They seek to squeeze every thrill out of life, pack in as many experiences as possible, before the inevitable curtain falls. This approach, while seemingly counterintuitive, can be a way of asserting control over the limited time we have beyond fear. Finding acceptance and growth, however, there are ways to move beyond the grip of fear and cultivate a healthier relationship with mortality. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or despair. It's about acknowledging the inevitable and choosing to focus on the present. It's about understanding that our time is a precious gift, not a burden. Strategies for managing fear. Several strategies can help us manage the fear of death. Mindfulness practices like meditation can help us live in the present and appreciate the beauty of each moment. By focusing on our breath and bodily sensations, we can lessen the anxiety associated with dwelling on the future or the unknown. Confronting the fear, head on. Exposure therapy, a form of cognitive behavioral therapy, can be a powerful tool for managing the fear of death. By gradually exposing ourselves to our fears in a safe and controlled environment, we can learn to desensitize ourselves to them. For example, someone with a fear of death might start by reading about death and dying then progress to watching documentaries or visiting a hospice, finding meaning in mortality, focusing on building meaningful relationships, and contributing to a cause greater than ourselves can provide a sense of purpose and legacy, lessening the sting of death. Knowing that our actions and words have a positive impact on the world around us can offer comfort and a sense of accomplishment. Living a fulfilling life. Ultimately, the fear of death shouldn't dictate how we live. By acknowledging this fear and employing these strategies, we can find ways to live a more fulfilling and courageous life, even in the face of our mortality. Life is a precious journey, and by embracing the present moment and finding meaning in our experiences, we can create a legacy that transcends the fear of death. Section 6. The Great Beyond. Unveiling the Mysteries. The question of what lies beyond the veil of death has captivated humanity since the dawn of time. While science offers undeniable explanations for the physical processes of death, the mystery of what follows remains a topic of endless exploration and debate. In this section, we'll delve into the diverse beliefs cultures and religions hold about the afterlife, or the lack thereof. Science. The limits of knowledge. Science excels at explaining the observable universe. It can tell us how the body shuts down, brain activity ceases, and the physical systems that sustain life come to a halt. However, science, by its very nature, 
cannot provide definitive answers about the existence of a soul or an afterlife. These questions lie outside the realm of scientific inquiry and delve into the realms of philosophy, religion, and spirituality. End of life beliefs, a tapestry of tradition. Across the globe, cultures and religions have developed rich and diverse belief systems to navigate the unknown. Some, like Christianity and Islam, posit a heaven or hell based on one's actions in life. These belief systems often involve a judgment of sorts, with the righteous ascending to a blissful paradise and the condemned suffering eternal punishment, reincarnation, a cycle of renewal. Eastern religions like Hinduism and Buddhism offer a contrasting perspective. They believe in reincarnation, the soul's journey through a cycle of births and deaths, driven by karma, the law of cause and effect, through good deeds and spiritual growth. The soul seeks liberation from this cycle and ultimate enlightenment. Ancestral connection and spiritual realms. Many cultures believe in a continued existence in a spiritual realm after death. Ancestral veneration is practiced in numerous societies where the spirits of deceased ancestors are believed to watch over and guide the living. Offerings and rituals might be performed to appease these spirits or maintain a connection with them. Near-death experiences. Near-death experiences have also fueled discussions about the afterlife. People who have had NDEs often report profound experiences that defy conventional explanations, sometimes involving feelings of peace, light, and encounters with deceased loved ones. While NADAs remain a scientific mystery, they offer intriguing insights into the human mind's capacity for experiencing the unknown and the enduring desire to find meaning beyond the physical world. The power of belief, solace, and meaning. Whether one believes in a heavenly paradise, a cycle of reincarnation, or simply a peaceful oblivion, these beliefs offer comfort and meaning in the face of death. They provide a framework for understanding our place in the universe and the nature of our existence. Ultimately, the answer to what happens after death remains a personal question, a mystery each individual must confront in their own way. The human spirit yearns for answers, but the beauty of this question lies not in finding a definitive solution, but in the exploration itself. The contemplation of death compels us to reflect on the value of life, to appreciate the fleeting moments, and to strive to leave a positive mark on the world. Section 7. Facing the Final Curtain. Embracing Life's Finite Journey. Confronting our own mortality can be a daunting task. The finality of it all can trigger denial, a desperate attempt to push the thought of death to the back of our minds. However, true peace and a fulfilling life often lie in acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or despair. It's about acknowledging the inevitable and choosing to focus on the precious gift of the present moment, finding freedom in acceptance. By accepting our mortality, we are liberated from the constant fear of the unknown. We are free to live authentically without clinging to fleeting moments or fearing experiences that might bring us closer to the end. This acceptance allows us to appreciate the beauty and fragility of life with a newfound clarity, living with intention, making the most of now. The awareness of our limited time becomes a potent motivator. It compels us to prioritize what truly matters and shed the inessential. We can use this awareness to break free from limiting beliefs and pursue passions that ignite our souls. It can inspire us to mend broken relationships, express gratitude to loved ones, and leave a positive legacy on the world, embracing the power of impermanence. Life, like the changing seasons, is a cycle of beginnings and endings. 
Flowers bloom in vibrant splendor, then gracefully surrender to the earth, enriching the soil for future growth. Similarly, our experiences, relationships, and accomplishments all contribute to the rich tapestry of life, even if they don't last forever. Embracing the impermanence of life allows us to savor each moment and find beauty in the journey itself. Creating a legacy beyond our years, our legacy isn't solely defined by the number of years we live, but by the impact we make and the love we share. A kind word, a helping hand, a creative pursuit, these acts of compassion and self-expression ripple outward, shaping the lives of those around us. By focusing on living a life of purpose and integrity, we create a legacy that transcends our physical existence, finding meaning in mortality, a paradoxical gift. The very finitude of life imbues it with profound meaning. We are compelled to cherish our relationships, savor experiences, and strive to make a difference in the limited time we have. This awareness becomes a catalyst for growth, a call to action that urges us to live each day to its fullest potential. Final curtain may fall, but the play itself holds immense value. By embracing the finite nature of life, we are empowered to write a meaningful story, a story filled with love, laughter, and contributions that leave a lasting impact on the world. So, let us rise to the occasion. Embrace the present moment and make our act on this grand stage truly unforgettable. The curtain falls, the story lives on. In this exploration of death's profound mystery, we've delved into the concept of mortality, the existential angst it can evoke, and the intriguing phenomenon of near-death experiences. We've explored the diverse rituals and practices cultures employ to navigate loss, and confronted the very real fear of death that resides within us all. We've also examined the scientific understanding of death alongside the rich tapestry of spiritual beliefs about what may lie beyond. Ultimately, the question of what happens when we die remains unanswered. Is death truly the end or merely a new beginning? Perhaps it is within this enigma that we find life's deepest meanings. The awareness of our mortality isn't a curse, but a potent catalyst. It compels us to live with purpose, savor each precious moment, and leave a lasting legacy. We invite you to reflect on your own perceptions of death. Does it fill you with fear or a sense of acceptance? What meaning do you find in life's finite journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And let's begin a conversation about this universal human experience. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the final curtain. Until next time, remember to cherish the gift of life, for it is truly a magnificent performance.